Jenny's up. What's up, Jenny? He says, uh, what, what's up, Crazy Semantics? I am merging one local city business lead gen website into another one that reaches statewide instead of one city, moving all of its pages, posts, etc. Statewide site is steadily climbing up, and its landing pages are currently on page two for four to five different cities. Leads are coming in slowly. Local site is ranking top three for number of profitable keywords, so I have to be very careful, I guess, not to mess it up, or careful not to mess it up. I just find it very hard to come up with quality content for two sites in the same niche and see no reason to do SEO twice. Can you recommend the best way to do it? 301 redirect, any plugins? Let's see. Uh, an SEO boot camp, Jeffrey, recommended highly. That guy's a monster. Mentions redirection plugin. Are you familiar with it? Any input is appreciated. Sorry for taking up so much space. No problem, Jenny. And yes, Jeffrey Smith's SEO boot camp is probably the best, or not probably, it's the best on page SEO course I've ever seen, hands down. Um, so I, I totally agree with you there. As far as, um, let's see, I find it very hard to come up with quantity for two sites in the same niche. I'm not sure why you have two sites in the same niche. It, it, I, I see that you're you're taking a local site, moving it into, merging it with a, a statewide site. So why not just 301 redirect the local pages? Unless those local, well, you say the local site is ranking top three, and so you don't want to mess that up. Okay, so that's why. You don't want to redirect the pages of the local site to the statewide site because then you'll likely lose the rankings from those local pages. I mean, it, it's possible that the statewide pages that you've set up that are now the target URL of the redirect would rank if they were set up similarly. But if it's on a different domain entirely and things like that, there's first of all, there would be some dancing regardless. But even if, um, if, if you know, chances are it's not going to come back in the exact same spot anyways. So I would probably leave that one alone. As far as the actual content, Look, if you've got content, it's the same type of site, it's the same you know business or whatever, then there's a couple things that you can do. One would just have it rewritten, right? Just go send the content to a re like to a, a you know somebody to rewrite it. Um, instead of having brand new content written, they can just rewrite it. And I would have that done manually. I wouldn't go to like a content farm for that kind of stuff. Um, personally, I'd rather hire somebody from like Upwork where it's a lot more manual. Uh, but that's one thing that you can do. Um, typically what I do for, and, and I know guys that a lot of people that do local, especially lead gen stuff will just clone sites and then just swap out the local modifiers. So like if it's plumber Dallas, Texas, they'll sw and they want to do one for plumber, uh, you know, Atlanta, Georgia, they'll just swap out at, at, you know, it'll be plumber Dallas, Texas or plumber Atlanta, Georgia, but all the rest of the copies the same. And, you know, they swap out obviously maybe logos and phone numbers and stuff like that, but the rest of the copy is the same. That apparently it still works. I haven't done that since I started in SEO back in 2000, you know, uh, or doing building lead gen sites and doing local stuff since like way back in the day, right? Um, I always prefer to get unique content for every site. And I know that can be kind of a pain in the ass and it does add up in costs, guys, but to me, it's a level of security that my sites won't get all taken down with in one fell swoop at some point in the future. And that may still happen anyways, but at least my content is unique, right? And so typically if I'm building like five lead gen sites and they're all in the same niche, they're just different cities, I'll hire five different writers for the content so that the right, the content is all unique, right? And that's just, that's, per, that's how I've always done it, guys. You can take existing content, especially if it's already ranking well on another site, you know that that site, that content has been, um, is working well. You can have that just rewritten and just slightly, right? You can even take the same content sometimes and just add additional content, switch things up a bit and, and make it work uh, just to make it more unique. But again, I prefer like more like totally unique content personally. All right. As far as redirect plugins, um, there's a couple of plugins that I would recommend. Simple 301 redirects is a plugin that I've been using for years. It's very simple, just like the name implies. Uh, another good plugin is called, um, I think, Page Post Redirect. That's another pretty good option. And what I like about that is it puts a widget on each page and post editor. Uh, you know, when you're in the like WYSIWYG editor area, so like, you know, like underneath the editor area, there's always the modules from like plugins. And uh, for example, like Yoast SEO or or instead, which you should be using now, is Jeffrey Smith's Ultimate SEO plugin. Does that that plugin's a hell of a lot better, anyways? Um, but they that's where you put like your your meta descriptions and titles and all that stuff, right? So those are like widgets in the editor page. And um, the page post redirect one will put a widget right on each poster page. So you can just direct where you want that to be redirected to. 
Um, one another one that uh, I use a lot for it's called Pretty Link Pretty Links Pro. They have a Pretty Links Lite version that's free, but the Pro version is absolutely worth it in my opinion. I know Chris P says there's some issues with it, but I've been using that plugin for years, and I just I, I like it. So I'm I'm old school on this man. I, I find myself that I use a plugin like for redirections, but then I go and check the the HT access file to make sure that it's been overwritten correctly. And so since I'm doing double the work, I just stopped using plugins and just go with the HT access file and do everything from there. I there just find it, it, it's easier for me. You can also do redirection in the cPanel too. So, um, you know, you can do it that way. And that, all that does is just writes it onto the HT access file for you. So that's another way you can do it. If you're not comfortable editing in HT access files, which I'm not, uh, you can do it in cPanel. All right. Nice, qu good question though. See, yeah, like I said, I would just I would leave the local site alone, and I would go ahead and um, what you could do is once if if your statewide site starts to also rank in that same local site area, you know, and you want to merge those two at that point, then what you could do is actually do a redirect from the local site to those pages on the statewide site once they approach that same level um, in the SERPs, right? But uh, the same position in the SERPs. But something else that you could do, which is a little bit of a sneakier way, is to use a canonical, right? You can you can canonicalize the local URL site page URL to the statewide page URL instead. And what happens is uh, Google will take the credit, get push any of the credit from the local site to the statewide site without it being a physical backlink, which is really interesting because that can leave your competitors scratching their heads, going, "What the fuck's going on? Like, how how is this guy ranking for this? I'm not seeing any links." Well. That's because all the work was done to the local site. You got canonicalized over to the statewide page, right? And they're not going to see that. And that's, that's very, very powerful. And uh, Google sometimes will – they're supposed to actually remove the site that's canonicalizing to the other URL from the index. But I've seen where that sometimes takes weeks. So you end up with you know two listings on page one until Google decides to uh, clear its cache. And then the, the one that's canonicalized to the target URL will disappear at that point. Okay, that's a very powerful way to do it too.